Alright guys, this is Dungon mixing it up on my channel. I wanted to do a redstone tutorial and the best option I found was a light switch because I finally, finally found one that worked for me. Um, this design is called Owls. It's one wide light switch because the switch itself is one wide. Which makes for quite a nice array, I think. And the uh, creator was yet another guy. The forum link is in the description below. And basically, like any light switch, it, de it detects whether or not it is day or night. So in this case, over here, that one's broken. It was broken test. But over here, it is currently day by the gold block that's above. And the uh, black box set to checked And yeah, that's what the array looks like. And here it is dissected in the one switch. Right here. Currently, this is in a day mode as well. And basically, there are three parts to the machine the uh, bud switch itself and the two monostable outputs. Okay, so what happens in the bud switch is that this block right here, this grass block, is what detects the night and day. So when it's daytime, the grass grows and it turns it, uh, rechecks this piston and sets the, uh, sets a system to day. And when the night falls, the grass block will die in the dirt, the uh, piston will extend because it updates itself. And since the uh, piston is powered, the piston will extend, the, the dirt block will over this torch, and trigger the whole system again. And it will wait for day with the dirt block right here. And right now it's waiting for night with the glass block, grass block beneath the ice. Huh. A lot of stuff to take in there. So it's a bud switch, block update detector. Right now the piston is supposed to be powered. Because of this line of redstone is on, but it doesn't detect it until you update a block around it, which will happen at nightfall when the grass dies. Okay, there we go. I guess that that twice, but who cares? So you could use this one thing to set an array. You could link it directly to an RS nor latch. But if you want to make an array, uh. You'll need monostable circuits because if you power uh, this, as you can see, this is always on, and you don't want it to be always on in an array because then, okay, say you have two. That uh, this block right here could be anything. So let's say you have two systems going on, and when nightfall hits. The grass starts to die. Okay, let me build it real fast right in front of you. This repeater I set to full just because I don't know, I find it more trusty, I guess. Okay, so right now they're both set to daytime. And when one dies, only one of these will turn off. So if you combine them now, the output would still be on. It would have to wait till every single grass block dies in order for it to turn off. That's exactly what we don't want. That's exactly the opposite purpose of the array. The array is determined when only one of them dies. So when the first one, the quickest one dies, it will trigger the output system and it will change it, change this RS Norlatch to night. With the, uh, yeah, the same system over there. So you only want one of them to trigger it, and that's done with a monostable circuit. Boy, that grass block died fast. So a monostable circuit looks like this. Pistons come out from the block when the redstone is on. It's powered right now because this redstone dust is powered. Then if this redstone dust always power also powers this block, which turns the torch off. And this off torch comes along 
and that torch turns off as well. So when the uh, thing activates, becomes night, what happens is this red sun light will turn off, this torch will turn on briefly, and this torch will turn on briefly, and then by the time the off signal comes to the repeaters, the torch will turn off again, and it will send the power down the line to do the thing. So just turn on the torch briefly, and it goes on. And this will happen whether any of the torches go off and on. And so whenever any of these torches turn on, it will send a brief signal down and go into the RS normal latch to keep that signal permanent. And then it will turn off and the whole system will be off. So it doesn't matter if, it doesn't matter how long it takes all of them to do it. All that matters is how long it takes one. So that detects night, I believe, and this way, this way also is another monostable circuit, which detects when it turns day. So when it turns day, this side is triggered, and it trigger basically just goes along and triggers the other end. of the RS Snorlatch and it would turn the day signal on. So you just repeat this over and over as many things as you might like. The more arrays you have, the more owl systems you have will make the thing more sensitive and quicker. And then near this glass block, a grass block you just want to place as many grass as possible to allow it to spread even faster. Right now, if I press a grass right, in the, right next to the uh, piston, it will actually grow. But it actually uh, the block update will detect the switch and actually do it. So this is the basic array. I hope it made sense. And there's one last thing, and this is a very, very important thing to keep in mind. Okay, so there are two blocks right here that are not grass. The, uh, let me get out stone bricks. The stone bricks beneath the grass block and the ice block, and the sandstone bricks beneath these repeaters. So what happens is that, oh, it's becoming night. Okay, so. When it's night time, <clears throat> these repeaters will be on. And these repeaters supply a, a light level of 9. And if these grass, if this grass block, if this is a grass block and there's a light level of 9 right, right above it, it could spread the grass to any block near it. Which this dirt block right here will accept the grass and it will grow during the night, which is exactly what we don't want. We want it to wait for day to grow. So I just replace the uh, block beneath the repeater with something other than grass and you're fine on that regards. So I think my, yeah, okay. So on this side, the stone block is needed. As soon as it hits night, I'll show you why. Come on. Come on. So basically the ray waits for... Ooh, that one triggered over there. But, okay, so th that grass block died. The net sound dirt block. The butt update, it pushed over into this thing. And the system activated the monostable circuits. So we'll see that here too. When a second one dies, right there, wait patiently. But as you can see, it only took one of them to activate the dark side of the RS Snorlatch. The dark side. They have cookies. <laughs> okay. So, but as you can see, both of these inputs to the RS Snorlatch are still off. Which is exactly what we want because if they're still on. Okay, so this side activates the night. My bad, sorry. So, 
and it switched the thing already, so nothing will change up there. Okay, it's not about night, and you can see, I can explain now why this block right here beneath the piston arm needs to be something other than a grass block. So if this is a grass block beneath the piston, actually it would be a dirt block right now because the block is right above it. So this would be a dirt block and now be a dirt block. And when it becomes day, this piston, including the arm, both of these blocks are waiting for it, one of the blocks around it to change. But if it's this block that changes, the dirt, if this dirt block goes in the grass first before this one, the uh, system will pull back, pull back this dirt block right here, and it will register that turn day because it pulled itself back. But since the dirt block is now beneath ice, the grass will never grow back, and the system is basically broken forever. So. So you want this to be something other than grass or else the system will break. Alright, so I think that covers it for the owl system. And here you can see three of them I believe have triggered off. Yeah, three of them are off. Three of them are uh, dirts and two of them are still grass. See, I haven't died yet. That's why you don't want it to be uh, only one system because it takes it could take quite a while for a single dirt block to die, a grass block to die. So if you have more, increase the sensitivity and it will trigger itself faster. Yep. So if you have any questions below, uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment below, or if or you could also comment on the uh, Al forum link as well. If you have an improved version, you can even post a video response to this video. Uh, I wouldn't mind that. I'll auto approve it. Well, not auto approve, but I'll approve it as soon as I see it, which would probably be uh, pretty quickly unless I'm sleeping or in class. But yeah, video responses for improved systems, maybe like improved. Uh, monostable circuits, so they're more compact because it's quite expansive now. Stuff like that. If you have any suggestions for that, you can leave them below. And if you have any questions, leave them below too. Thanks for watching. This is Dungan. See ya!